Electrofishing is a, a method where you're putting an electric current into the water which momentarily stuns the fish. And so we can capture the fish, measure them, weigh them, tag them and then release them at, at site and it helps us record the diversity and the abundances and size ranges of fish in that area. At the Arthur Ryle Institute, or ARI, most of our electrofishing boats are made by an American company, Smith Roof. Smith Roof make a range of electrofishing boats with varying conductivity ranges. The upper rating of these boats is about 25,000 electrical conductivity units. ARI currently has five different electrofishing boats. There's two large boats that are Smith Root boats, two medium boats which are also Smith Root boats, so you've got Smith Root generators. And we've recently purchased a new unit from the German company Grassel, which works in waters with much higher conductivity. The Smith Root boats are limited to 13,000 electrical conductivity units, which is about a quarter seawater. Um, the smaller boats or medium boats are limited to about 5,500 units, whereas the new boat we've got can go all the way up to seawater or very close to it. So this unit's a, a new unit that's going to open up great opportunities within Australia but also across the world. This unit was developed by Grassel in conjunction with ARI and it was specifically made for us as a prototype and part of that was that we would do some of the on ground testing and see how it worked once it was, was built and provide feedback to Grassel for further production. With the modifications we've had to make since it came here overcoming some of the troubleshooting problems, it's working fine. It is the only one currently working in the world. The Grassel Electrofishing Unit is a really valuable tool. It allows us to sample complex habitats and estuaries which have been inaccessible in the past. It also samples a range of species that aren't usually caught with conventional netting methods. This unit will open up areas into researching estuarine and near, near marine waters. So you're looking at a lot of recreational species such as the black brim, the dusky flathead, the mullet and the ludric, but it'll also open up the biodiversity research and just the, the connectivity importance of flows to those systems for those fish and also for some of the other diadromous fish that live in fresh water and move down to estuaries to breed. Okay, so this is the Barwon River and this is the Barwon River Barrage, which is a uh, barrier to fish movement on this system. It was built to stop saltwater incursions upstream so that farmers could um, utilise the wa uh, water for irrigation. So what happens is that below this barrier, it's estuarine water and it actually gets up to about um, 54,000 EC, electrical conductivity, and salt water, sea water is about 55,000, so it's actually you know, pretty close to salt water a lot of the time. And then upstream of it, it's fresh water, and the EC of that is about 1,800. It varies a little bit, about 1,800, but that's fresh water. So you've got fresh water, salt water interface because of this dam. So today, we, um, we uh, did electrofishing downstream of here, and we caught um, a number of species including estuary perch, brim, luderic, uh, and their um, estuarine species. Another advantage of the Grassel Electrofishing Unit is that a site is completed relatively quickly compared to netting which is quite time consuming and may require returning to the site the following day to retrieve the nets. The fish captured by electrofishing also recover very quickly and they are returned to their environment much sooner than other conventional netting methods. At the moment the electrical conductivity range for the Grassel is from fresh water down below 10 EC which is really mountainous streams but for the larger water bodies it, at the moment we're using it in a range of conductivities from that fresh component right up to to virtually seawater. An example of that is we've used it in the Gippsland lakes along the, the rock wall adjacent to the ocean. So it's a really promising technique that's, that's working well.